Hi, greetings for the day. I am Dr. Vivek Agarwal, consultant neurosurgeon at Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital and Research Center, Mumbai. January is Birth Defect Prevention and Awareness Month. So I'll update you about the birth defects of brain and spine. Development of the brain and the spine happen in very early stage of fetal life and it develops from neural plate. So neural plate folds and fuses from upper to lower end and forms the neural tube. When defect happens in neural tube at the upper portion of neural tube, it causes defect in brain. So it causes anomaly of brain. When the defect happens at the lower end of neural tube, it causes defect in spinal cord. Incidence of these neural tube defect is from 3 to 5 per thousand birth. So this is one of the commonest brain, this is one of the commonest anomaly or birth defect. Now the brain defect when happen because of the defect in the upper portion of the neural tube, it can have a no develop in certain portion of the brain which is called anencephaly. So in these cases fetus is either still born or they die immediately after birth. The other spectrum of the defect in the upper portion of neural tube is where there is a covering defect over the brain and that is called meningocephaly or encephalocele. So in these cases there is a defect in bone, there is a defect in covering of brain so that it causes swelling either in front or behind portion of skull wherein the brain is herniating through the skull and the, there is a lack of cover. So in these cases, the children can have a swelling, they can have a vision issue, they can have a hearing issue and it can cause paralysis to children, uh, kids as well. So in these cases, surgery is required and we provide covering along with closure of the skull defect. Now other end of uh, neural tube defect wherein there is a problem in the spinal cord because of the uh, non-union in the lower end of this neural tube they can have again spectrum from where there is just a defect in bone to an extent that the neural tissue is directly exposed to environment along with the CSS leak. So when there is just a bony defect and there is no damage or no uh, problem in the neural tissue, these kids have general, they are generally asymptomatic. They don't have any problem. While the other extent of the disease where the neural tissue is directly exposed, they are tethered. In those cases, the kids can have a paralysis. They can have a weakness in both body. They can have a problem in uh, control of urine. They have a problem in uh, controlling stool. They can have uh, no sensation in their lower limbs. So in these cases, again, the treatment depends on what type of uh, uh, spina bifida or a neural tube defect is there. In cases where there is just a bony defect, the neural tissue is alright, observation is done, while in other cases where the neural tube is exposed to environment and the CSF leak is happening, they need immediate intervention uh, or surgery. Now I'll discuss about what is the cause of neural tube defect. The most common cause of the neural tube defect, neural tube defect can happen because of the genetic reason, it can happen because of nutritional cause, it can be happen because of the environmental issues. Genetic issues are non-modifiable but other factors like the environmental or nutritional are modifiable cause and the most common cause is deficiency of folic acid in pregnant uh, ladies body. So in these cases uh, supplementation of folic acid to uh, childbearing age females is very very crucial. The other cause of uh, uh, neural tube defect can be because of the drugs. The uh, females of childbearing age group, sometimes they have seizure and they are on certain drugs which cause higher chances of neural tube defect. Like these drugs are like a valproic acid, carmagepine and then when they are taking it for a long time, they can cause neural tube defect in their kid. So, all these females who are taking these medications, who are of childbearing age group, they should consult their neurology so that they can change these high risk medication to a lower risk where the chances of neural tube defects are low. Other causes of neural tube defects are uh, exposure to pesticides or high grade fever to uh, pregnant ladies, wherein which cause anything which causes the high uh, core temperature of female can result in a higher chances. 
Now prevention. I'll talk about the prevention. Prevention is better than cure. So any disease prevention is always better than curing. And in these cases also, if we perform surgery, we can stop the progression of neurological damage to uh, kid. But we can't reverse what damage already has happened. So we always prefer that we should prevent happening neural tube defect rather than treating it or operating these kind of kids. The best way of preventing neural tube defect is supplementing folic acid to all child bearing, child bearing age group uh, females if they are planning for pregnancy. They all should be given folic acid one month prior to conception and at least it should be continued for first trimester. Giving folic acid in these females can prevent neural tube defect up to 70-80%. to 80%. Other way of preventing is fortification of folic acid in usual food like flour or in bread or other foods and taking folate uh, containing foods like green vegetables, broccoli and other uh, foods. The other preventive measures are as I told that if a female is on anticonvulsant like valproic acid or carbazepine, they should switch to a medication which has lesser chances of causing neural tube defects. Females should avoid taking opioids during pregnancy because that also increases the risk of neural tube defect. In fact, all these females who are supposed to become pregnant or who are pregnant should avoid taking any medication without uh, proper consultation with doctors. Thank you.